Shalom, my brothers and my sisters. Yeah. So uh, there was this comment, and I love it, that um, the, said the appointed times is a salvation issue. But bam, as we can see uh, very uh, pretty clearly, you know, um, that uh, Yahuwah chose to reveal Yahushua HaMashiach to all the brothers and the sisters in the faith by how did he choose to reveal Mashiach? By how he how Mashiach is fulfilling the appointed times. Very important. Very important because it says uh, of all the things that Yahuwah Yahushua did, then we could write books that would fill up the whole world, right? But we chose to write this. Ba ba bam. And then and when we uh study, you know, the word, we we see what they wrote about is how he is, um, how he fulfilled the Passover, how he uh, fulfilled, or, you know, how he is fulfilling the um, f uh, first fruits, you know, and unleavened bread, you know, and uh, how he's going to, you know, so these things, oh my goodness, are so amazing. Now, I think in Daniel 29, 25, it says that the enemy is going to intend to change times, appointed times, and, you know, this and that. Boom. Clear as day. Mm-hmm. So, if the enemy is changing the appointed times, right, to uh, different ones, yeah, none of, and, and Yah says, when you go into the land that I'm giving you, do not learn the way of the pagans, right? You know, don't learn how they worship <clears throat> their mighty ones and do that to me because that's an abomination. That's they've done every single abomination, uh, you know, that, that you can't even imagine. So, so long story short, then if we to be us people, you know, are holding to his appointed time to his calendar, right? Then we're being guided and you know, uh, and plus it's full of revelation about bam. The more you do it, you're like, whoa, this is it, you know, and now you know you're doing the right thing because you're doing it, you know. But then the people that don't want to do it and or don't, you know, like, yeah, he knows my heart, this and that. Well, that, you know, I say good, good, because like, seriously, we want. Yah people in the kingdom. We don't want no uh, infiltrators, right? And they can't make it. So the only... <laughs> so, all right. Um, um, so, the whole point is that Mashiach's appointed times, Yahuwah's appointed times, exalt our Mashiach. True, Yahushua HaMashiach, uh, you know. A lot of people call him Jesus. But if you do your research and, you know, then you see that it couldn't have been so. And then you see uh, the Ma in the Maccabee times, you know, the Hanukkah, right? That they put a zoo statues, and then they created a J, and then put Zeus right after that, and then say Jesus, you know, like I don't know, I don't. Know. To me, that's like a what you gotta be. But see, the enemy is so sneaky, sneaky that <laughs> he's, you know, a lot of us were like. That can't be it. That can't be it. But yeah, it's easy as that. He's a, he's a deceiver and he's deceiving um, in, in the stupidest ways. But now that we know the truth, now that we study to show ourselves approved by the word, now that we are keeping Yahuwah's appointed times, found in Leviticus 23, oh, Shabbat is a delight. Then now it's clear. We could see and understand how way more clear and how more applicable it is to be a disciple to be a disciple is to guard the shabbat to you know to uh, uphold his yahuwah's um appointed times which it says they're you know they're his appointed times so then and everything else you know if we're not discerning um the the infiltration of the enemies then you know you're not gonna you're not gonna make it.